Martinelli, Nketiah, that's important, you know, important for momentum for this Arsenal team. Well, there you see it, seven matches today, complete now, and Arsenal, who started this one four points in the lead at the top of the table after Newcastle leapfrogged Manchester City with that big win over Leicester earlier, go back to seven points in the lead with City playing at Ellen Road on Wednesday. We've got Chelsea Bournemouth to come tomorrow, Manchester United against Nottingham Forest as well. That's your Tuesday night lineup. But what Arsenal have done here, Thierry Henry, this evening, is uh, show the rest of the Premier League that they are here to stay. Yes, they are here to stay. We are here to stay. We have a team also. I think it's important to say that we have a team. All the Arsenal fans were waiting for is for a team to compete. Not one, two, eleven players, but a squad. You win a title with a squad. And that's very important. This is what Eddie and Ketia showed tonight. That it can be the answer for the time being, however long they want it to be, the time being. Obviously, we're going to have to wait for Jesus to come back, but that's exactly what he did. You know how far you have to go back for an Arsenal team top at Christmas uh, to then go on and win in the league? 1948. But there it is, Boxing Day night, and there they are. 15 games played, 40 points for Arsenal. Newcastle United in second after that big win over Leicester. Manchester City to play Leeds on Wednesday. Tottenham Hotspur getting themselves a point this afternoon, making up the top four. There was movement as well, of course, for uh, Fulham, who had a big win at Selhurst Park. At the bottom of the table, uh, well, Wolves had a big win at Goodison Park, and that sees them on 13 points just inside the drop zone. Uh, but West Ham will be disappointed. They let that first half lead go, and they sit there. 16th place on 14 points, staring ominously towards of the table tonight. They'll play again, of course, on New Year's Eve. But that was exactly the kind of response to that long break that manager Mikel Arteta would have wanted. It didn't matter how it came. Uh, I thought on the first goal that Odegaard wanted to shoot. Ball goes to Bukayo Saka, composure finishes it. Second goal, yes, it's gonna, people are going to say it's, gonna, it's a mistake of Fabianski, but who cares? At the end of the very day, you turn it around, however you did it. You did it with what you have available at the, at the, at the minute. And, uh, and you end up winning the game uh, easily uh, at the end in, uh, in the second half. So, uh, yeah, they do mean business and they showed it again. Yeah, and that was what tonight was about for them, wasn't it? Yeah. Showing the rest of the league, showing their challenges that they mean business and doing it largely with, with the kind of team that uh, he's been playing all season. Of course, Jesus uh, was out through injury and will be for a couple of months, but that was a message, wasn't it? This is a strong team full of players who are involved in the World Squad, the World tonight, Cup squads. Tonight, it was about reaction, uh, momentum and the result. Uh, I think the second half performance was very good. But actually, I think the first half performance going one down, it kick-started Arsenal. I'm sure in the dressing room they would have said, right, let's go back to what we, you know, what we know. And the, the poor performance in the second half was, was brilliant. And, and importantly, three different goal scorers. Again, this is not an Arsenal team that's relying on one guy. You know, Martinelli and Ketia, Saka. This is a team, they share the goals. They perform well um, and, you know, they keep rolling. A good time largely with England. Here he is to join us in the studio. Congratulations, Bukai. That was uh, an impressive performance, yeah, sorry. You're right. not just from you, but from the whole team there, especially in that second half. Sorry, say that again, please. <laughs> uh, that second half performance was very impressive. Um, yeah, it was much better than the first. You know, the first, I think, we were just getting back into our rhythm. You know, we, were, we had a lot of possession, but we weren't being too effective. And in the second half, I think, you know, we were much better. You could see in the three goals. Today was uh, about momentum, was it? Trying to pick up that momentum that you had before you went into that six-week break. For you, obviously, there was a lot of football to be played out there in Qatar. How easy has it been getting everybody back together and on the same page that you left after the last win here, which was that 5-0 win over Nottingham Forest? Um... Well, yeah, I think we all know how important it is. <laughs> we all know how important today was. The months, and, you know, you look around those forward players, the front players, and, you know, you know the responsibility is going to lie on you to, to share that goal scoring. And, obviously, that's the great thing, as Eni has said about this Arsenal side. Goals come from, a, you know, a handful of players are up there scoring consistently. Yeah, that's definitely important. You know, obviously, Gabby's going to be a big miss. But you can see, I'm so happy for Eddie, you know, uh, I feel like we all believed in him and yeah, that's all he needs, just to keep supporting him. And you can see today he got his goal and that will give him a lot of confidence. So we just need to continue to encourage him. And of course, you've got me, Gabby, Granite, Martin, even our centre-backs are chipping in on the goal. So everyone's going to be so important. 
Yeah, that, that, that's key. That's key. I mean, you've said it there about Eddie, the, the pressure probably coming in. There was a big question mark about, you know, can he fill uh, Jesus' boots? But you guys chip in with the goals. That's important. And, and it looked from the celebrations as well. You were, you were really happy for him that he scored. Uh, I was, that was I great was buzzing, to see. Yeah. Uh, there's something I wanted to share, obviously, in your game. You know, that, that belief that you can score. Because on the first goal before, you would have stayed high and wide and wait for something to happen. But you believe that that ball could come to you and make a run uh, on the first goal and stay and be in the box. Second goal, it's for me, it's your goal because you won the battle with Declan, Declan Rice in midfield going to the gym lately. Strong, yeah. <laughs> but also the third one, you got the ball back right there. The throw in, yeah. Yes, yeah. you got the ball back. What changed? Um, I think it's come a lot from, from Mikel. He's helped me a lot. He's told me how important it is, you know, to win the duels. Um, and of course, when I'm active off the ball, it helps me so much on the ball. So, of course, you know, when I'm, I'm alert, I'm off the ball to, to win these duels, you know, and obviously win that first duel with Declan Rice and it sets up a chance, you know. If I don't do this battle, you know, maybe we lose the ball and we go to the other side and defend our box. So, yeah, each game I'm really realising how much important it is. You'll go to bed tonight with Arsenal seven points clear of Newcastle United in second place with Manchester City yet to yeah. play this week. What is belief like in this squad? We've talked ahead of the game about the importance of players like Zinchenko and Jesus who've done it before. They've been there before and won league titles. What, what have they brought in in terms of belief and how that permeates through the squad? Um, of course, you know, they're both... <clears throat> they're both champions, so they bring that, that belief, you know, that we can win every game, that we can go the whole way. So that's what they're bringing, you know, every game they're telling us, you know, how important it is, you know, to realise that each game is so important, especially games like today. You know, Jesus wasn't even, he wasn't even on the pitch, but we can still feel his presence, you know, he's speaking to us in the changing room, encouraging me, encouraging the other boys, so both of them are so important. And of course...